I want to talk about entropy. And this here is a term that I don't really see talked about that much when people talk about reporting, but you'll see that the analogy is quite clear. What do I mean by entropy? Whenever you look at a report, a report is often about performing some sort of inferences, aggregations. It's about some sort of large data set that gets reduced to something that somebody that's small enough for somebody to make a decision based off of. And I like to describe how information is lost in the reporting process as an entropic process. When I talk about entropy, I'm talking about how do we describe how different steps of the reporting process, different data manipulations, different aggregations, throw away information. And it leads to a very clear principle for almost every report that I write. Do not allow entropic loss of information until the very last possible moment. Let's look at, it at an example, very simple example. Here, again, we have some numbers and we've computed what the mean is. Note, in the data loading, we threw away information, what the individual numbers are, which we then had to reconstitute, or we had to churn this code in order to capture, oh, what the actual numbers are, so we could do things like the smallest and the largest, the min and the max, the P95, the P99. What you can think is, in each one of these reporting steps at the very end, we're reducing this large data set to one number. So we're throwing away a lot of information, but we only do it at the very, very last possible moment. Because necessarily, if we throw away information, we never know if somebody is going to want that information later, and they're going to want to make a change to the report that incorporates that information. And then, oh my goodness, you have to go and rewrite all of the data loading code and all the data processing code to thread through that one additional piece of information. A better guidance, as long as you're not memory constrained, is to not throw away information at all until the very last moment, so that if you need to answer a question which you couldn't answer, well, you have all the data right there in front of you ready to answer. Now, of course, you could, if you have a large enough data set, run out of memory, and so you do have to apply some judgment to this. You may not necessarily be able to store every single step along the way, but if you, as a general principle, try to reduce entropic loss of information, you will find that your reports churn much less. Let me show you another example. Let's say we have some complex code involving scenario analysis in pandas. One of the nice things about pandas is we can set up all of our scenarios and at the very last step, right before we print this out or right before we store this to a file, perform the entropic loss of information, namely the aggregations, namely the data mapping, namely any sort of data cleanup we have to have. And pandas lends itself very nicely to this. Spend all of your time setting up your data, throw away as little as possible, have additional columns that represent inferred values, and only project down to the actual summed value at the very end. So if somebody comes back and they say, oh, I need to make one tweak, well, that tweak happens in this very, very nice space right before the report happens. It's a very easy tweak to make. One of the things about reducing entropic loss information is about superficializing modalities. It's about making all of these decisions as superficial as possible so you can go and revisit them very quickly, very non-invasively without churning any previous code. In fact, when we think about things like iteration helpers, we can think about iteration helpers as one of the ways that we stave off the entropic loss of information. Because if we write an iteration helper to deal with CSV data, and we want to skip the headers of that CSV data, one of the things you could think is we could have written this iteration helper as a skip headers that only yields the lines that are non-header lines. But we've thrown away data. Instead, the way we want to write iteration helpers is to preserve and supplement, to add more and more and more data. And then only at the very end do we want to throw away data. In fact, one of the things we can think about when we think about our reports is the typical information flow of a report should be you start with the raw data, you start with multiple raw data, you synthesize these together, you have some inference process, like some data cleaning process, that adds more and more and more data, more information, information that was stored in the raw data, plus information that's stored via some heuristic, via some information that you have about how these co combine, or how these synthesize together. And then, at the very tail end, you reduce that all to the smallest possible reportable data set. And so, it's not just that you want to defer the loss of information to the very end. In fact, 
many of the good reports that you write that will have minimal churn when you have new requirements will actually evince a pattern of information grows up until the last step where it all gets reduced down to one answer.